I know.
the equipment. John's going to demonstrate uh, what will you, what setup would be at a precinct, how the poll workers would interact with the equipment, and then how a voter would interact with the equipment. So we'll go from the digital scanner, and we'll also talk about the uh, ADA system. So the system you're going to see today is called uh, Verity. Uh, it is a pure paper-based system. So uh, that's what we'll be looking at today. So a little bit of history about art. Uh, we are based out of Austin, Texas. We have actually been in business since about 1912. Hart started out primarily as a printing company. We were printing a lot of forms and documents and a lot of that old carbon paper type things. And we worked primarily with uh, counties and districts and government. And then uh, around uh, the 1960s, we started getting into uh, elections. We started printing ballots. We started doing printing punch card uh, booklets and things like that. And then in the 80s, we optical scans started to become quite popular. We actually resold an optical scan uh, from a company called CES, which was then bought a few times and now rolls up to what you would consider ESNS. But we resold that. But what we really wanted to be able to do is be able to print those ballots. And mostly we did that in the state of Texas. Uh, there's 254 counties. And we've worked with uh, close to about 230 of those counties from uh, the time we've started until now. And then, of course, in 2000, the uh, election hit Florida, and there was uh, mass confusion over the election process and how things were done. Punch card was pulled into question. And we had already started developing uh, a DRE, a direct report electronic device for the state of Texas. Um, the state of Texas had decided they wanted to go to no fault absentee. And basically what that meant, you guys probably know what that is, but for those of you that don't, that you didn't have to have an excuse to vote absentee. And they wanted to do it as an early voting process where people would come into uh, sites around the county and be able to cast their vote. Well, that was hard to do on paper back then. So we developed a DRE. Um, and then, like I said, the Florida elections happened, and then the whole election world kind of exploded and expanded. And that's when Hart really became more of a national company than just a Texas-based company. So if you look at the map here, we're currently, and I apologize for blocking the view of some. I'll try to walk back and forth so you can see. We're currently doing business in 18 states. Everything that you see in kind of the gray black is our what we call our legacy system. That's our heart voting system. We really have three types of systems in the market today. We have a, a DRE. We have uh, it's really a digital scanner, but you guys might recognize the term optical scan, paper-based optical scan system. And then we have what's called a DRE with a paper trail, which has to be used like here. Uh, in Ohio, if you were to use a DRE, it actually has to have a paper trail attached to it, kind of a printer that goes with the system. So those are the three types of uh, legacy systems that we have in the market today. And if you look at Ohio, we have two counties in Ohio that currently use our uh, heart voting system. They do digital scanning. That's Hamilton County and Williams County. So kind of funny that they're at opposite ends of the state from each other. But, uh, and then everything you see with the star is the new Verity equipment, what we're going to show you today. So Sean's going to go a little deeper into the specifics of Verity, but basically the equipment that you see here today was initially certified in 2015. So it is one of the latest and greatest systems on the market today. I know some of the systems that you looked at previously and have seen, some of those systems were created in 2008. So the technology uh, is updated, but it's not quite as updated up to the 2015. And that also has a difference when you're looking at how long that equipment's gonna last into the future. Yes, they're gonna give you new equipment, but it's still based on technology from 2008 and a certification cycle that started in 2008. Uh, some of the uh, 
very adoption rates that we've seen. Uh, we're in 11 states uh, now. I think the previous map said eight. I apologize. We're up to 11 states now that are using very. We have over 120 counties, and that's pretty exciting considering it was just released in 2015. Over 5,000 precincts, over 8 million registered voters. Now, this 45-55 is important for you guys. So, 45% of the folks that have bought Verity have been previous Heart customers, right? They had our old system. They we had a great relationship with them, and when they upgraded to the Verity product. But 55% of those 120 counties are actually from coming from a different vendor. So we're very excited about that, that we're able to actually take a little bit of market share uh, and be able to say, hey, this is our new equipment. Folks have really liked it and adopted it. So here's some of our experience, and this is important for you guys being a large county. Uh, these are some of our larger counties that we work with today. Harris County at the top there, that's basically Houston, Texas. That's the third largest county in the United States. It has over two million registered voters. Uh, interesting story about Harris County. Uh, they've had our equipment since, I think around 2001, but in the 20, is it 2012 election cycle? I think it's a presidential election cycle. So in 2012, uh, at the beginning of 2012, they had a massive fire that took out all of their warehouse, took out every piece of equipment that they owned. 